currently I'm working from Manali from the last one and a half okay. years. So you know, whenever okay. I say this to someone, they all everyone says that I'm actually living a fully remote life. How did you apply to Atlassian and got called? I applied for an hiring drive, Atlassian Women in Tech hiring. Is there any time women in tech hiring opening generally comes up? It generally comes. So what are the things that you did correctly in your opinion that helped you to get the PTO from Classian? When I had my interview, they did ask me to code in Java, but then I said them that you know I am not very well familiar with this language. Can you probably talk about the compensation structure for freshers at Classian and maybe provide a range? Yeah. Uh, so Today we have a super inspiring guest, Suniti, who went from a Tier 3 college all the way to becoming a software engineer too at Atlassian. We will dive into her journey, how she cracked Atlassian despite coming from a non-premier institute, her interview process, work culture, perks and more. Suniti, welcome to the podcast. Let's start with a quick intro. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your journey so far. Hi, Riddhi. Thanks for having me in the podcast. Uh, so, uh, currently I'm working as a software engineer at Atlassian. I joined Atlassian in uh, July 23. So uh, it has been like uh, one and a half year since I have been here and yeah. Okay, cool. So let's first start with the very basic questions like how did you apply to Atlassian and got call? Uh, uh, if you can talk uh, us through that process. Yeah, uh, so uh, in 2021, I applied for an hiring drive, which was by Atlassian. So it was a woman uh, special hiring drive. It, it, it was known as Atlassian Women in Tech Hiring. So I applied to it. Uh, how did I got to know about it? Uh, it was uh, there was a video by Arsh Goels in which he mentioned that uh, there is this opening. So I applied. It was a basic Google form. I filled it. After that, there was uh, uh, just uh, some uh, you know initial screening wherein they just checked the basic things that you know graduation year, CGP and all. And uh, yeah, after that uh, we got uh, links for the exams and yeah, that's how it happened. Okay, so is it like a, a woman in tech hiring drive that happens every year or was it very special in 2021? Uh, no, it, it happens every year and they hire for both the positions for full time and for internship as well. Okay, got it. And is there any time where uh, this opening generally comes up so that it helps the audience? Yeah, so it generally comes uh, during August and September and by October, okay. November, they try to wrap up the entire process. Got it. So that was insightful, especially for women in tech. You can definitely keep a tap on this. So now my next question is, uh, okay, before that, did you apply for internship or did you apply for a full-time role? I applied for an internship role. Okay. So can you just walk through the interview process of uh, this internship role at Atlassian? Yeah. So uh, after clearing the contest, uh, which was uh, held on HackerRank platform, uh, after that, uh, we received uh, an interview link. So it was a same day interview. Uh, on the same day, both interviews happened. One was a technical interview and the other was the managerial and value rounds. So I had my first interview in morning around 8, 8.30 a.m. I guess. Uh, it was for like 45 minutes. Uh, there was one coding question that they asked and then the interviewer kept on, you know, modifying the question, modifying the constraints and some edge cases were given. We needed to change our answers accordingly. And then there were, you know, some uh, basic questions around stacks uh, and other data structures. So that was how the first round went. And the results were uh, shared with us in like two to three hours over the mail. And after the first round, we had our uh, m &B round on the same day. And yeah, it, it, it also went for like 45 minutes. Uh, there the discussions were mostly around the projects that I have done and, you know, soft skills that they mostly focused on. And... Uh, that result was also shared in the next two to three hours and yeah that was how the interview went so uh, as it was for an internship role so uh, i only had two rounds but for a full-time role they do have three rounds one is a system design round as well okay so thanks for sharing the insights first of all so a couple of questions on that so uh, how was the level of the coding questions was it really tough was it medium was it easy and uh, also can you share some insights on the behavioral or the value round uh, that you gave? Because again, these, these for the big tech companies, value rounds and the behavioral rounds are also very important. So I think that would be very helpful for the audience. Yeah. Um, so the first question, right? Uh, how was the question level for the coding round? So I would say right. it was a medium yeah. level. It was uh, I was able to solve it using a hash map and a little bit of optimization here and there. So uh, it was a medium level question. Uh, and... Uh, Although they kept modifying it, but they were not taking it to an, you know, expert or hard level. It was uh, kept at a medium level only. And uh, in the MNB rounds, the kind of skills that they asked was, you know, uh, 
who's my inspiration have been uh, so it was like uh, me and interviewer we kind of connected over this harry potter thing so he was asking me you know who's your uh, favorite character in harry potter why he is your favorite character so they kind of tried to develop that bond as well so they were very friendly i'll say and uh, mnv round is generally taken taken by some senior engineering manager at atlassian and the coding round would be taken by you know uh, software engineers at there you know let's say at p40 p50 p60 level so yeah uh, mm -hmm. yeah it has been like that and yeah they'll also ask you you know uh, basic questions right why do you think you are fit for this company what are those skills that align with the company skills all that stuff right i think when i interviewed for amazon way back in 20 sorry not amazon atlassian way back in 2022 i think there were rossi interviews and uh, i think they focus a lot on the five values that they have very similar to the amazon behavioral process so yeah uh, so i heard that's important so maybe go through it before you get, you're setting for the atlassian interview so cool uh, so that was the interview process but can you also walk uh, the audience through that how do you prepare uh, for this uh, company and the interview process in general yeah uh, also one thing around the uh, mnv round i would say is that you know before uh, sitting for the interview i kind of uh, Uh, did an analysis around all those five skills, and I tried to fit at least one example from my life for those five skills. You know, so that if they right. ask me how you are aligning with this skill, I should have an example there. And uh, you know, right. I, I'll say just try try to keep it real because uh, you know it, it kind of adds an authenticity and you know a kind of uh, uh, I'll say a strength to your answer that you are trying to give. So yeah. Uh, also, so for the coding round uh, preparation was uh, it was like. Uh, yeah a very general thing you know uh, arrays dsas and all so at that time there was this sheet love bubba dsa sheet was there which i started to solve and i did it very honestly and by the time i completed the sheet i had this contest for atlassian and uh, you know i was able to solve like all the four questions that was my first and only contest so far in my life in which i solved all the questions so yeah that was one sheet that i did Uh, apart from that i was very active on geeks for geeks and lead code uh, i used to give monthly contest over hacker earth as well so yeah i i think uh, you know ha to have an idea it's not possible to solve all the questions right but you should have an idea that how you can approach the question so yeah that is how my mm -hmm. preparation has been Mm, like nice i mean 450 questions is anyway a lot of questions and i was interviewing at amazon i think i had 200 odd lead code questions so kudos to you for solving so many of them uh so now coming uh, after the interview right so uh how was your internship experience and how did you ended up getting a ppo like what are the things that you did correctly in your opinion that helped you to get the ppo from classian so uh, honestly speaking when my internship was there i mean i was just in my third year my third year was getting completed right i was very scared i was not having any industry experience before that so uh, it was a very overwhelming thing for me as well that how would i do there uh, it was a two month summer internship uh, so it it was again a remote one uh, so when it started um, like you know a mentor was assigned to me a project was given uh, they would not expect you to do something very great because you know two months is something that they usually give for onboarding like if you will join full time you will get 3 months for onboarding so in those two months right. uh, you know uh, i i was given tasks around just some basic uh, Uh, some bug fixes were there right and uh, then uh, some monitoring mm -hmm. setup i had to do which was there and at the end of the two months i had to uh, i had to prepare a slide that you know what what are the works that i have done uh, so on the basis of that uh, that slide was shared with some my manager my mentor and you know other team members and then on the basis of that they kind of um, finalized you know that uh, who are those who are going to get the ppo but mostly in atlassian uh, the summer internships to ppo conversion is quite high so if you did a okay. you know honest job uh, you know it's it's very likely that you are going to get the ppo so it's like a two month internship is it yeah okay cool so now when you after you joined as a software engineer at atlassian right as a fresher How was your experience? How did you find the culture and work-life balance? And also, Atlassian is fully remote, by the way. So, how is that remote experience? Is it tough being a fresher to work remotely because you don't have that serendipity of meeting, you know, the senior engineers and actually sit with them at the office and learn from them? So, just give us a brief overview about uh, how was it initially at the start uh, to you know figure things out, especially when you're working remote. 
yeah so i mean uh, just to add to the remote thing uh, currently i'm working from manali so from the last one and a half years i have been working from manali because my father is posted here so you know whenever okay. i say this to someone they all everyone says that i'm actually living the fully remote life you know i'm making the most mm -hmm. out of it so the remote life is quite amazing here i i would say you can just you can make most out of it you know i'm having engineers in my team who are just traveling across the world and then they are working from there so uh, it, it's a okay. it's quite a nice experience around the challenges i'll say um, so when i was doing my preparations i only learned one language that was c++ and uh, atlassian uses java and kotlin so during my onboarding these were some of the small things that i had to deal with uh, but uh, i'll say the work culture and uh, the kind of people that we have in the team they are holding the atlassian values quite strongly so there are people here who are actually living by the values so uh, it makes it a very great place to work so uh, even during my onboarding or even some of the challenges that i was facing i was having my mentors i was having my managers to help me so yeah it was a bit easy for me and yeah for work uh, for remote work as well uh, they kind of give you uh, some amount you know in your starting so that you can do your remote work setup as well you can have your you know ergonomic chairs ergonomic keyboards and all that stuff so they they take care of that a lot mm -hmm. and how is the work life balance uh, at plus and especially in your team and maybe in and around yeah a work life balance is quite good uh, they are mostly focusing on what you are delivering and they are very much less concerned about if you are doing 9 to 5 or not you are not at all required to log in exactly at 9 you know of course if you are on call so uh, there are some added responsibilities but yeah if you are not then uh, it's just uh, you you just need to focus on what you are delivering you just need to meet the deadlines and yeah that's it so work life balance is how's quite the, manageable here how is the on call pressure at it lesson like i always ask this question to everyone because uh, at amazon when i was there it was a crazy experience so i always try to compare that uh experience uh, so yeah how how is the one call uh, experience at atlassian so far okay so with atlassian uh, i'll say the cross team collaboration is quite high uh, like since the last one and a half year that i have been here i had collaborated with you know engineers mostly across sydney and then there have been engineers you know across usa and like that so the cross time zone collaboration is lot you know usa is like plus 12 hours minus 12 hours sorry right so uh if you are on call and if there is something that is raised by you know those external teams then in those cases although you are not expected to respond then and there right they they do get it that it's outside business hours uh, sometimes you know they even uh, uh, mention it on the slack as well that this is outside the business hours so we are not going to respond but yeah depending on the severity you know we have this uh, sev0 sev1 sev2 sev3 like that so depending on that you need to respond uh but yeah if it's not uh, if it's like self three or if it's not that important then you can work in your office hours so on call load is not on that higher side you know as talking of amazon mm -hmm. or things like that it's not on that higher side right and also atlas and i don't know how many people know this it's like an australian company uh probably headquartered in sydney so uh it's not like a us company uh anyway uh so now let us walk us through let let uh, like i will allow you to walk us through to the text stacks and the some of the projects that you're working on in atlassian uh yeah just for the sake of the audience understanding here yeah so uh, atlassian is working on like a lot of things right uh, and uh, given that we have this ai and all coming up uh, i'm not sure if you have heard of atlassian roho you know it's atlassian zone ai mm -hmm. agent that they have developed so yeah, a lot of things atlassian is working on and it's across a lot of tech text stacks what i am working on is uh, from last uh, one year i would say uh, there is this uh, security offering by atlassian uh, so there is this product guard premium uh, which is uh, i am working with so it's basically so that you know users can classify their issue uh, as uh, you know protected private restricted and they can have uh, some you know uh, they can just let's say they can uh, say that you know you can't export this item or you can't view this item so yeah things like that so this is uh, the product for which i am working with right so what is the like atlassian's main product like the jira that everyone knows uh, can i probably like talk about some of the atlassian famous atlassian products just for the audience uh, so uh, i am working on jira platform so uh, i have uh, more context around jira uh, so we have this uh, various products right we have jira we have confluence trello bitbucket right uh, atlassian robo is there then uh, the product mm -hmm. i said atlassian guard premium is there uh, 
Jira, we all know it's like product uh, productivity tools, like kind of, you know, we are tracking, even we are tracking our tickets on Jira only, right? So that is where we use okay. Jira. Confluence is mostly, uh, I'll say I use Confluence more than I'm using Google these days. It's it's a wonderful place, right? Every engineer, mm -hmm. whatever they know, they'll just create a page and they'll post it on Confluence. So it's, it's it has been truly helpful for, let's say, new joiners or let's say if you are onboarding to a new project, it's really a very helpful place. And yeah, Bitbucket is there to host your, you know, repositories and all. I was saying there are very few external dependencies that we are having. I mean, Atlassian is so, so self-sufficient that, you know, most of the things that we need, we are having it internally built. I think that's the thing with every big tech company are, uh, out there and all what I've seen so far. So that's great. Uh, to work on such interesting uh, products. Uh, so, so what is the tech stack? Is it Java? And uh, are you a front end or a full stack developer? Uh, no, uh, I'm a back end engineer there. So, I'm working on Java, Kotlin, and uh, GraphQL APIs uh, around these things. And then mm -hmm. uh, for monitoring, we have Terraform, Splunk, SignalFX. Uh, these things I work with. Got it. So, Atlassian is okay, the so... majorly Java and Kotlin heavy uh, industry. Yep. 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 Got it. Do they ask Java in the interviews, by the way, or is it just like complete coding and system design stuff? Uh, so uh, when I had my interview, they did ask me to code in Java, but then I said them that you know I am not very well familiar with this language, so they they were fine with coding main C plus plus. They they just need the logic. They are not much concerned about the language. Got it. Got it. Cool. So that's about the tech stacks and the projects. Now coming to perks, right, which people are very excited about. Apart from the remote work. Uh, what are the other perks, perks that you get at it lesson? Uh, so yeah, one of the perks, as I mentioned, we are having this work from home setup allowance. They'll give you amount to, mm -hmm. you know, fix up your setup, whatever things you need, you can have it. Next, uh, Atlassian is also having this facility that, uh, uh, let's say in a month or, uh, like in six months or an year, whenever you feel that, you know, let's say um, your neck is paining, your back is paining, your eye is straining, there's this medical test that they are having. You can just give that medical test and let's say if they are saying that you need a new keyboard for you or you need, need a new mouse for you, they'll just give it to you, right? It's, it's that. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, like we have uh, for social bonding and all, right? We have these ITGs every six months. Uh, ITGs is like, you know, uh, like team members meet each other, uh, not virtually. So we go to our Bangalore office and then we like meet each other and for like a week or so. And it is fully sponsored by Atlassian. So yeah, these are some of the perks that I can think of. Uh, yeah. Free food as well. So you don't get a chance to enjoy that perk, but that is also there. Yeah, yeah. If you are in office, a lot of things. Gym is there, free food is there. Then they keep happening on this Friday, social hours and all. They keep on having interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Cool. So now let us jump to the clickbait part of the video. Can you probably talk about the compensation structure for freshers at a in and maybe provide a range, uh, a ballpark figure uh, on that? Yeah. Uh, so uh, the division is we'll be having a base salary, then there is HRA, uh, then there is remote work allowance, and then you will be having RSUs. So RSUs mm -hmm. uh, contains a very uh, heavy part of the package that we are having at Atlassian, right? So, you know, whenever you will see uh, what's the CTC of Atlassian, whatever it is, right, you know, I'll say around 60 to 70 percent of it is RSUs, which get vested over a period of four years. And after that, uh, they mm -hmm. refresh it, you know, on the basis of your performance and all. Uh, and uh, for the base salary, it's in the range of, you know, 15 to 25 that's that's the base salary for freshers. yeah for the freshers and uh, like uh, the annual salary if you'll ask me uh, for a freshers you are going to get it in the between of 35 to 45 that's the annual salary that we have yeah got it got it yeah that's i think uh, quite a lot especially if you're someone starting out in the industry thank you so much uh, for giving some time and uh, sharing your insights and your journey with atlassian uh, it's a top it's a hot company and a lot of uh, my audience uh, reach out to me uh, sometimes to ask for insights and i hope this video was helpful and if it was don't forget to press the like button and uh, share this video among the aspirants uh, do let me know in comments if there's any other company you want to more insights on i'll be more than happy to make that video um, I will probably link Suniti's uh, LinkedIn on the description in case if you want to connect with her. Uh, thank you Suniti for doing this and uh, thanks for watching this till the end. I will see you in the next one.